Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys an unboxing video of my Bulgari necklace. This is the Bulgari Diva Stream necklace and the one that I bought is in Mother of Pearl. I'm so excited to unbox this because I just bought this yesterday. This is part of my bridal jewelry because in Singapore we have this tradition of si dian jing. So this is one of the si dian jing. Yeah. I am the one, the your son, don't need the what I have inside is a small bottle of Rosé and the seals associated is so nice. She actually gave these to me. So I'm probably going to keep this chilled in my fridge and when there's like nice dinner at home, I'll probably share this with Sean. So it's been a while since I bought any rosé. This comes at a really good time. My voice is so deep today because I just woke up. I literally just got off it like a few minutes ago. Nice. <laughs> okay, anyway, in the box is the beautiful necklace. Uh, here is a quick background of the necklace. I always wanted to get the VCA necklace which is the Sweet of Hambra collection, the one in Mother of Pearl also. When I went in to try like a few weeks ago, actually I've been browsing online, browsing the VCA website for the longest time. I was pretty sure that I was going to get the Sweet of Hambra Mother of Pearl necklace because I think it's really nice but the thing is before I even managed to go to the store to take a look physically, I realized quite a few of my friends actually wear the same necklace, even though it's not Mother of Pearl, but it is the exact same collection. So I was a bit hesitant because, you know me being me, I don't like to wear something that I know that my friends or people I know that like they already have. Stop it. Get some help. I don't like to have like what other people already have. So I'll try to like avoid as much as I can unless if I really 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 love the product. For this case, I wasn't too sure if I was going to go with the VCA. So okay, actually I was 100% sure that I was going to get the VCA because I've always wanted to buy a VCA necklace but then I just didn't have the chance to buy it and the price, it really doesn't justify the mother of Pearl because actually, is it a gemstone? Not sure if it's a gemstone but it is not a diamond, it is not really like full gold plated. Only the necklace itself is on gold. I don't know whether I'm actually paying for the brand or I'm just paying for that particular collection. I mean definitely paying for the brand. Backtrack a little bit, I went to the VCA store two weeks ago and I wanted to see the necklace for myself physically but then they ran out of stock so there wasn't stock for the mother of pearl necklace so I only managed to take a look at the I think the black color one, not too sure what is the name of that gemstone I'll probably include over here. So I was pretty disappointed because I wanted to see like how Mother of Pearl reflects in real life because I heard it's really really beautiful. Two weeks later, which was yesterday, we queued up for like 30 minutes outside the VCA store to take a look at the necklace. At least yesterday, they had the stock for the Mother of Pearl necklace that I wanted. So I took a look and I even tried on. I didn't even manage to take video of me trying. I didn't even manage to take video of the whole shopping process because the SA was just very serious and I didn't want to like make him feel that I'm not serious in buying because I was actually very serious. I was really like 70% to 80% sure that I was going to buy it when I was queuing already. The shopping experience just wasn't great. I just felt very pressurized. No idea why. After I inquired on the stock and the price and everything else that I needed to know, I realized that um, Mother of Pearl is actually very fragile. So there are a lot of things that you cannot do with um, the necklace. Like you cannot wear it to shower. You technically cannot like touch water at all. You have to avoid lotion, you have to avoid perfume, you have to avoid a lot of things. And that necklace retails for I think close to 4,000 if I remember correctly. I told Sean that I needed to think about it a little bit more even though like VCA was the brand that I was going to buy for my necklace. Then afterwards, we just happened to walk past the Bulgari store. Then after that, I was thinking, okay, why not I go in and take a look because Bulgari also has like the Diva Dream necklace collection that I always wanted to take a look. So I actually went in to try and I took a look at the Diva Dream necklace collection. The moment I tried it on, okay, I'll insert a photo over here. So the moment I tried it on the necklace, I just felt that, wow, like it is so beautiful and I feel that it complements my overall vibe better than the shape of the VCA necklace. So as you know, the VCA necklace is actually very recognizable because that is like their signature 
shape or collection so like the moment you wear it everyone will know that it's BCA but then I feel that for Diva Dream it's slightly more unique and slightly more special so only if people who know will know I also think that it's very less common it's not a necklace that everyone would have in their collection since I don't like to wear like what everyone wears suits my character more so I decided to go with the Diva's necklace in the Mother of Pearl since I've always wanted to buy a Mother of Pearl necklace okay so I actually have the information of the Diva Stream necklace over here just let me quickly share it with you the Diva Stream necklace is in 18 karat rose gold with 18 karat rose gold pattern set with one diamond and Mother of Pearl in contrast to the VCA necklace VCA actually does not have any diamonds on it at all while Gari actually has like a small diamond on top which makes it look slightly more elegant and slightly more glamorous I mean after all the diamond the VCA one actually is in gold and for Diva Stream necklace is actually in rose gold so personally I would definitely choose rose gold over gold because I just feel that it complements my skin tone better and even for my Cartier's love bracelet and my wedding bands we both got it in rose gold so I feel that it will match the overall Su dancing set better so yeah I decided that the Diva Dream is the one. The moment I try it on, I just really, really, really love it. So I was pretty sure that I was going to get it ready, but then it was just like a very impromptu decision. And usually I'm not the kind of person to make such an impromptu purchase, especially for such a big ticket item. So usually before I buy any bags or any like expensive things, I definitely will do my research first to understand more about the product, like the collection. Of course, to learn more about the wear and tear. Will it require a lot of maintenance or anything else? Because I don't usually pay a lot of attention to my like stuff so I would definitely go with something that's like less maintenance but then the thing with Mother of Pearl be it for VCA or Bulgari it definitely requires a certain level of maintenance so I decided to go with the Bulgari one okay so long story short let's start with the unboxing now I think I'm so talkative because I just woke up <laughs> okay anyway so this is the oh, paper bag I've already taken out the necklace it is so beautifully wrapped. I think once I open this up, I will not be able to wrap this back. Oh my god, so nice! I'm gonna open the box now. I'm so excited because after I bought it yesterday, like literally after I paid, I haven't seen the necklace. So this is gonna be the first time I see after I buy it. Okay, just another box inside. This is like jump scare, but it's not scary. Okay, so this is the inner box. Oh my god, I'm gonna open it up now. Oh, look at this, so beautiful. Look at how it shines, like in different angle, like the light reflects differently on the mother of Pearl. It's so beautiful, oh my god, with the diamond. Okay, I definitely love this more than the VCA one because VCA is just so common and everyone has it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, so beautiful! Like, imagine I wear it now! Oh, so beautiful! So this is actually a wedding gift from Sean. I have the best fiancé ever. Like, he knows that I love it so much. Okay, so I was saying that it's really an impromptu decision to go with Bulgari. So even though I was ready to spend like 4000 on VCA, I wasn't ready to spend this amount of money on Bulgari. So this is a wedding gift from Sean. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Do you guys see what I'm seeing now? This is perfect. Like the diamond on top just elevates the whole look of this necklace. I really think that this is so much nicer than the VCA necklace. No offense. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Oh, so nice. And the rose gold. Oh my god, so nice. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna wear this after our Kotali. Okay, anyways, that is the unboxing part of the Bulgari's Diva's Dream Necklace. It is so beautiful. It's really out of this world. Like, I haven't seen any necklace that is so beautiful. I even think that it's like more beautiful than my Hermes necklace. Okay, because I've had this 
like since I was 21. This is actually a 21st birthday gift from my parents. So like recently I just turned 25. So this has been with me for four years. It is still very meaningful because my parents gave it to me after I turned like 21. So after I'm legal. So it's like really meaningful and I'll keep this in my collection forever. I really feel that we are at this age where we really need some nice jewelry collection, especially for necklaces. And since I really really like it and I see myself wearing it in the long run, even for the next 10-15 years, why not just buy it now? Then I spend like so much money on random jewelry that I will just probably wear like once or twice. That is the end for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing video and the reason why or how I actually end up with the Bulgari necklace. Totally no regret. I think like now I love this like 200 times more than the VCA necklace that I was so certain that I was going to buy. If you are thinking about buying the VCA necklace, I will recommend you to check out the Diva Stream collection from Bulgari as well because I really feel that the VCA is too common. So yeah, that's the end for today's video and remember to subscribe to my channel for more of such videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!